In the diagram, MNR is a right triangle, MN equals 15 meters, MR equals 10 root 3 meters, and MQN equals 72 degrees. Let's see how we use this information to answer A to C. Now, let's make this angle angle theta. Theta plus 72 degrees equals 90 degrees. That's very simple. That's theta plus 72 degrees give us this 90 degrees. Since this triangle is a right angle triangle. Now, we have theta equals 90 degrees minus 72 degrees. That gives 18 degrees. Now, I hope you are enjoying the lesson. Please give me a like, follow, and share for us to build the mathematics community. Now, let's see. If we consider triangle M and R and then take tangent of X plus theta, that is the whole of that angle. Oh, sorry, sorry. Since we have adjacent and hypotenuse, let's take um, cosine of x plus theta, and theta is uh, 18 degrees. So it will give us adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, 10 root 3. Now, we take x plus 18 equals cosine inverse of 15 divided by 10 root 3. And this one, just use calculator to point that. So we have x plus 18 equals 30, which gives x equals 12 degrees. That is the angle there. Wow. Hope you are enjoying the lesson. Please give me a like, share, comment, and follow for us to build the mathematics community. Now let's continue. How do we uh, do the rest? From... Triangle M N R. That's the bigger, sorry, the biggest triangle. If we take 10 root 3 and square, then it's called 15 square plus N R square. That is from Pythagoras theorem. So this one will give us 300. This is 225, and then we subtract it from 300. It gives us N R squared. This gives 75 because n r square so if we take square root of both sides we have square root of 75 equals n r and this in decimals will give us 8.6603 meters equals n r now if we consider this triangle and take tangent of theta and theta there is 18 degrees so Let's take tangent of 18 degrees. This one will give us the opposite. NQ divided by the adjacent, 15. So we multiply 15 by tangent of theta, sorry, tangent of 18. That gives us the NQ. And this is 4.8738 in meters. Wow, I didn't bring the meter here. So let's do that one. Okay, that's great. And let's move on. Now, if I need QN, I just take N out and then subtract NQ from it. That's very simple. And this gives 3.7865, which is equal to four meters to the nearest whole number. Wow. Now, how do you find the area of this triangle? To do this, let's follow uh, uh, these simple steps. Remember to like, share, follow, and comment for us to build the mathematics community. I've seen, you've been watching my videos without giving me a like. Please kindly like and comment for us to move on. Now, to do this, let us find the area of triangle M and R. You know, area of a triangle is half base times height. That is perpendicular height. So, we take half and the base is 15 and the height of M and R is N R, which is 8.6603. So, if we multiply this with a calculator, we get 64.95225 meters squared. And then let's find the area of triangle M N Q. We also use half times base times perpendicular height. So that one is half of 
the base is 15 and the perpendicular height is n kill and we have n kill to be 4.8738 so let's put 4.8738 there now if we multiply this on the calculator we get 36.8 five five three five so if we need the area of m q r we subtract the area of m n q from the area of m n r that is very very simple as that please kindly like share comment and follow for us to board the mathematics community so this simply gives us 28.3987 5 which can be simply written as 28 meters to the nearest whole number please kindly follow like and share for us to build the mathematics community